the beveled profile, relieved back, and laser accurate scales make Woodpecker's Woodworking Rules a favorite of woodworkers everywhere. And now, with two simple machine screws, you can turn your 12 inch or longer woodworking rule into an adjustable T-square. Woodpecker's Precision Woodworking Protractor Head mounts to the end of any 12 inch or longer woodworking rule. Now you have a T-square for accurate layout work. Turn it over, loosen the two knobs, and now you can set the blade to any angle. The laser engraved angle scale is easy to read and the crisp indicator line is right on top of the scale to eliminate parallax. The head adjusts smoothly and locks securely at whatever angle you need. And if you need to use it again as a rule, it's just as easy to remove the protractor head. The Precision Woodworking Protractor comes with a wall-mountable racket that keeps your protractor head right in plain sight and ready for work. The racket stores the head by itself or with a rule installed.
The Sandit from Milescraft is the compact, quick, and convenient sanding solution for all small projects. The unique patented multi-sided design gives you the ability to sand multiple surfaces using the same sanding block. Each side of the Sandit has a different shape perfect for all projects. The sanding block offers three different rounded edges, a concave profile, a flat profile, and a tight edge that gets into the corners. For detailed radius work, two small rounded edges allow you to get into tight areas and edges of routed boards. An edge with a larger radius speeds up bigger projects using a broader curve that covers more ground. For sanding rods, spindles, poles, and more, the concave face cradles the round edge of your piece and quickly smooths it out. The flat surface is great for sanding pocket hole plugs, wood plugs, or removing any rough surface. Use the tight edge to squeeze into the nooks and crannies to finish off your sanding. The sandit is also highly adaptable and quick to modify. It is compatible with any quarter sheet of sandpaper, change grit from coarse to fine in seconds with a quick snap, and the sandit lasts from start to finish as you perfect your project. When you need a versatile sanding tool that's tough on rough surfaces and ready for anything, remember to go with the grain and go with the sandit. Hey guys, Logan here from Popular Woodworking Magazine. There's a lot of tips and tricks that you can pick up over the years that really help elevate your projects. One of them that I like to do is to add some form of corner decoration to my projects. Let's look at this router cabinet, for example. If you look at the sides of the case, you'll notice that the top and bottom corners have this radius on them. It's just a nice little detail that looks better than having a sharp corner. Plus, with something like a shop project like this, it keeps it from getting dinged up as you're moving stuff around the shop. When I'm adding corner races to a project, a lot of times I'm doing that on a plywood panel. And in the past, what I've done is make a template and either go ahead and draw that radius on each corner and cut it with a jigsaw and then maybe go over to the edge sander and rough it in. Uh, or I'll make a template if I'm looking for something a little bit more consistent. Luckily, some manufacturers today have started coming out with corner templates. One of those is this Craig system here. And the Craig system consists of two parts. It has this base, and then it has different templates here. Now, we have templates for different shapes. We have radius to corners, or there's nice little chamfers. We decide what radius we want, and with the Craig system, each one's marked with either uh, one inch, half inch, or millimeter marks. And then this guy snaps right into place on those little studs. And then these steel pins register to the corner of your project. And now I can come in with either a pencil and mark out that radius and then remove the waste at the jigsaw, bandsaw. Uh, or what I can do is I can just hold this in place the bottom of this is pretty grippy, so it's not going to slide, and those posts give me a good registration point. And I can actually come in here at the router table, and I can just nibble that away until I get down close to this template. And then I can make a final pass with this template writing it against that bit. So there we go. It's a good way to get consistent radius to corners. Now, one thing I will say is if I'm going to go ahead and do the chamfer on the corners, kind of make a dog ear, I am going to cut that off first, uh, either with the bandsaw or with a jigsaw, maybe a handsaw. Just remove most of that waste and avoid as much chip out as I can. So overall, it's a great way to get good, consistent results, and it's going to lead to better looking projects.